When we start talking about summer temperatures, uh -huh. you know, we can say that it's hot out there, but it really is all about perspective and knowing that our conditions right now could be a whole lot worse. Yes, that's true. And we're typically talking a lot worse conditions for us. Yeah. I'm glad that we're not having to deal with that now. But either way you slice it, it is still going to be hot. Hotter days are to come for us here in East Texas, but not as hot as what it was last year. Look at Tyler last year, our peak temperature in the summer, 107. You remember that? July 22nd, it was very hot. So far this year, our peak has been 95, and that was on June the 21st, which was the start of summer solstice. Longview, 105 last year, July 22nd, 95 for you. Lufkin, 105, July the 23rd, and so far this year, 94 degrees. But of course, temperatures are running a little bit warmer than average for us, and thankfully, we're not talking about triple digits as far as the actual high temperature. It's going to feel like that, though, over the next several days. Have a few cumulus clouds are left over. Otherwise, a mostly sunny, a dry evening for us. We're still into the lower 90s. A couple of spots already coming down to the upper 80s, like Henderson, 89 degrees, 90 in Marshall, 91. Over in Palestine right now, Hemphill, you're at 93 at this time. For the first time in probably almost two weeks, we're dry on live Doppler radar. And we're going to be dry for the next couple of days for us as the ridge of high pressure starts to build in. Now, there are storms around this high that are going to start to sag down a little bit more to the south, but they're expected to weaken well before they come into the East Texas area. That's going to lead to temperatures that are going to rise a bit higher over the next several days. So overnight tonight, skies clear, but by morning, we'll look for some low clouds that will return. 76 for the overnight low. A wind light out of the south and southwest at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Look at the forecast during the day on Saturday. 6 a.m., 76, noon temperature already at 90. The heat index at 90, already pushing upper 90s and around 100. By 3 o'clock, 93. We should go all the way up to about 95 in some locations for that daytime high. The bigger story is what it's going to feel like, and that's when we're talking about temperatures going above the 100 degree mark. So the feels like temperature Saturday late in the afternoon to early evening, somewhere between about 102, some areas as high as 107 or 108, especially across our southern counties. And then on Sunday, the heat index really not changing that much between about 102 to 107 and 108. So our hottest temperatures are to filter in over the next several days as this high will be parked right over us. Going to give us dry conditions. A stagnant weather pattern will be expected. If there's any good news, there will be a light breeze in the afternoon. Winds will be out of the south and southwest for the next several days. Relief? Well, we might have to wait till about next Thursday. A 30% chance for a few showers and thunderstorms. And my guess would be that everybody would probably want a little bit of rain, yeah. probably by late next week yeah. after the hot weather week that we'll front. see. Yes, we do have a weak cold front, week. summertime front. It's not going to drop temperatures all that much, at least right now. DP Texas, hot weather for the weekend. We're forecasting about 95 to 96 in some of our southern counties from Crockett. All the way over toward Hemphill, you also have that storm chance Thursday. But we know this is normal. Yes. This yes. time of the year. Mm -hmm. All right. All right.